week, Christian is currently uh, hiding in the closet. This week, I finally went to figure out getting my passport. And for some reason, when I see the picture that they took of me, I think of armadillo. Also, this week, me and my sister went to the movies together and we saw I Feel Pretty. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> I actually did it. One, two, three. I liked it. It was it was entertaining. Also, this week was a week of getting lots of stuff in the mail for our home because we bought everything online. So we got a new lawnmower. What do you think? Awesome. We got some like lawn clipping trimmer things. Do you hate it? Love it? It's just a hand trimmer. It's good for getting by the trees and stuff. We caught it in the grass. You ready? Yeah. You want to say a prayer? Yes. Yeah, Father. We are letting my sister's dogs out. She's got two French bulldogs. The kids love them. Frida. Say Yuli. Wooly. And Frida. Frida. What's it smell like? Honey. It smells like honey? Yeah. That's a dandelion. Ooh, a doggy smell it. The doggy smelled it too? And one thing that I'm most excited for, just the most ever, is that we finally got a dresser. Yeah, our dresser came. Take it a while. What? It was mostly just trying to organize everything because it's like, so Nothing. many pieces. I think it's like labeled. Yeah, unlabeled thousand pieces. <laughs> We're on our last one. Then we can say goodbye to that and that and that and that and that. It took all day, but it took all day. Since we all And we got a new rug. The moment I've been waiting for. So we got a new rug to match the blue wall we did. What do you think? Did like it? <laughs> we painted uh, the back of our front door pink. <laughs> Sitting on the steps waiting for the door to dry. <laughs> it's too wet and does it dry from wet and one door is dry. Yep, and the green door is dry. Okay, why don't you put your shades on? What's my what's my black sunglasses? Where are your black sunglasses? Hey, hey, look at Christian. <laughs> Ew, Gracie, what do you say? <laughs> Jeez. This is a burp. I know it was a bird. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Here's our pink door, which is just the same color that our dining room is, which is kind of fun with the blue, right? <laughs> lots of lots of color. <laughs> okay, and also I did um, a hanging plant. And my favorite addition, look at how stinking cool. It's like a wicker face. Also this week we went to Strong Museum of Play. This museum uh, is pretty like famous. We were there for three hours and we still didn't see nearly everything that is there. Gracie, Sesame Street, look. Look at Big Bird! Christian, look at Big Bird. They have a fake uh, grocery shopping for the kids and they can check out and they're running for the slide. There's basically everything you can imagine and everything you couldn't imagine here. Good 
job, Iron Man! Batman! Bam Bam! Ninja Turtle costumes, and honestly, it was the best decision I ever made as a parent. Ninja Turtle! Oh, he looks so stinking cute! You're Ninja Turtle. Ninja Ninja Turtle. Hello, <laughs> That's good rapping. <laughs> Here he comes! Wait, which one's the red one? Raphael! <gasps> Raphael! Whoa! calling in our new ward already I'm teaching relief society which is one of my favorite callings and then after church we went to Palmyra which is just like 25 minutes away from us do you see it Gracie where are we a temple. temple and what did you want to bring to the temple <laughs> Look! <laughs> We're at the temple right now. We're not going to go inside. We're going to walk around it, okay? Obviously, it was right when I got baptized, and it was just when I could do a baptism. So I actually haven't seen all of the temple. So here's the back end of the temple, and you can kind of see that every window is stained glass, and they're trees for, I mean, obviously, the sacred grove. <laughs>
right, and so the Sacred Grove is literally right here. Yeah, this house right here is where the sister missionaries, like the Sight Sisters, um, will all live. And here is the Temple visitor. Temple of Baga. No, visitor center. Oh, right. For the Sacred Grove. This is the Sacred Grove for the Temple right of here. You just want to say that. <laughs> so this is where you start if you want to do the tours. Temple of Baga. No. We're not gonna do the tours today, but that's where you start and they'll take you through all of like to the houses. The of We're just gonna go up to the Sacred Grove. Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> you wanna say Jesus too? Okay, cheese! Jesus! This is Joseph Smith's first house right there. And then this is his farm. Whoa. So the framework to all of these houses are original still. I mean, you can see that this thing is tiny. It is teeny, teeny, tiny. They all lived in there. And so if you want to get like proximity, here's where the grove, the grove starts. Are you ready, Christian? Here we go. Here's the sacred grove. in the sacred grove that I said my very first prayer ever. the brightness of the sun, which descended gradually until it fell upon me. When the light rested upon me, I saw two personages whose brightness and glory defy all description. Standing above me in the air, one of them spake unto me, calling me by name, and said, pointing to the other, This is my beloved son. Hear him. Who did Joseph Smith see, Gracie? Who are the two people Joseph Smith saw? The Jesus and the Heavenly Father. So about two miles south of the Sacred Grove is the Hill Camora, which is another visitor center, and then obviously like the hill. Mommy. What, babe? Let's go. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna see the big Jesus. Look, you can see him right there through the window. He's trying to... Christian, why don't we go inside to see him? Bye, bye. Bee. <laughs> Another bee? of Palmyra. This is something, it's a landmark. You have a church on each corner of the road and each church is a different religion and none of them are um, the LDS religion. And right down here like a block is the Grandin building where the Book of Mormon was published. 
We also are not going there today, but that's where it is. It has just been so wild to be back. And so I've been doing a lot of brainstorming and pondering, which inspired this week's uh, message. Christian, do you want to start this week's music? <laughs> Subscribe for new videos every Monday and we'll get into this week's message and montage and I will see you next Monday. <laughs> Moving to Utah eight years ago, I was leaving for the rest of my life as far as I was concerned at that time. I only brought my dog and my clothes with me. I started my journey across the country completely by myself, sleeping on the floor. No job, no friends, no freaking clue where I was going or why I was even going. Just a small, teeny tiny testimony, just barely getting started, guessing my way around faith, and a whole lot of hope that God was as good as He promised He'd be if I trusted Him. And now, eight years later, I've left Utah and made it back home to New York, and I'm returning with a husband. Two kids, two cars, two 100-pound dogs, two published books, an entire moving truck of things, a lot of experiences, a lot of new talent, and a ton of conquered trials, an unstoppable passion, and an indescribable amount of gratitude, full circle. God knows our todays, our tomorrows, and every day of our existence. He already has the way for us to the best ever created. It's already there. I want that. I choose God. I choose His ways. I choose His rewards and blessings. I'm excited to keep moving forward, allowing Him to show me the greater things and make the ultimate full circle when I'm truly back home with Him and look around me and see all that I bring back with me that I didn't have before this life. Full circle.